let's face it, bees play a major role in our ecosystem, and so do we, because what we plant in our yard can help those bees and other pollinators thrive. So there's actually a week for this. This is National Pollinator Week, and our Don Shipman is live in Decatur at a nature preserve where there are tons of pollinators. <laughs> hey, Don, good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, we are at Woodlands Garden. It is an eight acre plot of land right here in Decatur within city limits. And it's really quite beautiful. Take a look over here. You can see that they kind of reuse everything. You can see some of the tree branches there that they actually created a really neat performance area, a tiny little stage right there. Today, this is a private, this was a private residence. Today, this is a nonprofit. The Morse family donated it to the community. Anyone can visit, they can walk the trails, they can check out the greenery. There's a variety of flowers and trees. Now, we thought this was the perfect location to kind of talk about these pollinators. So what are pollinators? Well, we're talking about bees and other insects, birds and even bats. All of this playing a critical role in producing the more than 100 crops that we grow here in the U.S. Now, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, honeybees alone add more than $18 billion in value to our crops each year. Here in Georgia, Georgia is home to more than 500 different species of native wild bees. All of us can help bees live their best life, too. I talked with a local arborist who says variety is key. Make sure you have a diverse landscape, right? You can, via plants, perennials, annuals, trees, things like that. You also be careful with your pesticide sprays that kill those pollinators. There's a lot of organic material out there. Now, the bee education nonprofit Beecator, love that name by the way, is holding their 2023 Pollinator Week Festival. It's happening on Saturday from 10 to 2 at Decatur Square. It is a fun, family friendly event for everyone. And back here live, you can see that this trail system kind of goes back into there. There's an amphitheater down in there, just about a half mile's worth of trails in this area. And they kind of weave in and out. You can check it all out. One of the things that I thought was very interesting that the arborist brought up is that without bees, without all of these pollinators, we wouldn't have a lot of the items that we have on our grocery shelves, including coffee, which we love each and every morning. I know I do. Uh oh, seriously? Wow, I didn't wow. know that. Yeah. I didn't know that either. Don's coming and dropping so much knowledge today between <laughs> the bats and now we wouldn't even have coffee without <laughs> the bees. Now we know. All right, Don, thanks so much for that.